Field Trips features real field stories told by real ASCE members. Good morning. I'm Alan Cadden from Chernobyl Engineering. Uh, just got back from a recent field trip to Tennessee and West Virginia. I checked on a few projects, talked to a few clients, and it had me uh, reflecting on a past field trip from many, many years ago that I thought I'd share with you today. Um, if I think back to, I believe it was about the late 90s, yeah, I'm getting old, um, we had a renovation or expansion of a shopping mall in Exton, Pennsylvania. Uh, they wanted to add a second floor to that facility. It's in a limestone karstic geology, really challenging um, karst rock. Pinnacle, voids, uh, clay seams, all kinds of mess underground. Um, so it was in the earlier days of micropiles, and we thought that would be a good solution to allow us both to deal with the karst conditions and uh, you know handle the high capacity uh, foundations from the uh, parking garage. And also they wanted to install all new foundations inside the mall to be able to actually drop the new columns through the roof and anchor them to new foundations inside the mall while the mall was still operational. Uh, so we did the exploration, a lot of borings, uh, some geophysics and such, uh, helped them with the contract documents. And then interestingly, they had us help with debriefing the contractors, uh, especially contractors, as they were trying to decide who would put the micro piles in. And we had three uh, very good contractors come in and uh, propose on the project. Uh, the biggest challenge of that interview process was convincing all the contractors that, yes, you do have to install micro piles inside an operating mall over, overnight, really, uh, because the mall had to be open during the day. And you know many of the stores were empty, so those were easy. A few of them were active, so they had to uh, ensure the owner that they would not make a mess and they would be able to reopen the mall every morning. So they picked one of the contractors, uh, got started on the project. Uh, we started with the garage. You start with the easy stuff first. You get work outside, work out the kinks and everything. Uh, and as you expect with most... Uh, challenging deep foundation projects. The first pile you put in the ground is a test pile. Um, we drilled that one, hit stuff we didn't expect, this little white sugary sand kind of stuff. And they did yeoman's work to try to get that pile to, to hold grout and, you know, perform the way it was supposed to. They thought they were done. Took a while, got the load test set up and lo and behold, that load test failed miserably because it was primarily in loose sand rather than in rock. So that wasted a bunch of time. They tried another pile, another part of the garage area. Uh, it was bonded in hard rock, uh, but the, were, there were issues with the load frame and the actual first joint of the micro pile. Uh, they got bending moment uh, in the load test and the first joint of the micro pile uh, actually sheared, uh, had a, a rip vertically in the threaded joint and the jack kicked out. And so that pile was uh, wasted. So, got through a couple of those problems, worked through long shifts. Uh, they were requiring them to get, get caught up, so working day and night, trying to get some piles in the ground that they could actually get good load tests. They got things moving in the garage, everything was going well, and started moving into the inside of the shopping mall, and they were working the night shift inside the mall. Uh, it was interesting to see how they accommodated that requirement to make no messes and they started by taking advantage of the holes in the roof and they ran all the air lines and spoil lines and grout lines for the drilling operation through the roof down to the actual point where the foundation was going to be installed so that at least uh, saved them a lot of time of having to drag hoses in and out of the mall every day um, so moving along uh, they did well with that. Uh, they came to one store that was active after they worked a lot of the non-active areas and everything. Uh, and I showed up there one night and it was really quite interesting as they go into this uh, ladies' uh, uh, clothing wear store. Uh, you get inside and there's a wooden room built around a column in the center of that room. And this is one of the largest crews that I had seen on the project so far. 
Uh, the room was outfitted nicely. It fit the decor of the store. It painted up, uh, and they had actually hung uh, all the clothing brackets on the outside of that enclosure uh, to you know sell merchandise during the day. It was uh, an interesting little store. Um, the drill rig fit nicely inside it. They were able to work around that column and get the three or four piles they had to in that area and then wrap up the project um, and get on out of there. The other interesting thing I just recalled that they had to work around was mall walkers. And I never realized before that that's a thing. Malls open up early in the morning for many of the local residents to come in and do laps and walking, uh, getting their exercise, walking around the mall. So that became, uh, instead of dealing with neighbors, we had to deal with walkers every morning and make sure things were cleaned up for them and there were no tripping hazards or anything as they were doing their walks, even while that was still within the work, at, work time that they had. Uh, so it was a good project at the end. Uh, the project... Um, Got completed, uh, looked beautiful. Uh, they actually, I think of the couple hundred piles they had to put inside the mall, they only had two leaks where they had to shop back up a little uh, cutting spoils or, or blowout um, while they were drill drilling piles. But they did a nice job of developing a diverter head that they could mount to the floor and capture most, in, most of the cuttings and just pipe them right out of the roof and keep the site clean. So uh, it's... So my first lesson lesson in realizing that if you really need something done and you keep your feet to the fire, you can make things happen and, and get a nice project completed. So that was my field trip. We had a fun time with that project. It lasted for, I don't know, maybe a month and a half of a lot, or I'm sorry, a year, year and a half of day and, and night shifts. Um, and it was, uh, it was fun and challenging. So have a good day. Uh, glad to share my field trip with you. Field Trips is a production of ASCE and the Geo Institute.